हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो की हाल चाल आई होप यू डूइंग गुड इन दिस बिग सी प्रॉब्लम फ्लिप कॉलम्स फॉर मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ इक्वल रोज इट इज सिंपली सेइंग दैट वी आर गिवन अ एम क्रॉस एन बाइनरी मैट्रिक्स कॉल्ड एज मैट्रिक्स नाउ वी कैन चूज एनी नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स कॉलम्स आर दीज यू कैन चूज एनी नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स इन दैट स्पेसिफिक विन मैट्रिक्स and flip every cell of that column so if i choose this specific column i will flip when i say flip if it is 1 it 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 will become zero this is 1 will become zero if let's say if i choose this column and if i try to flip it this zero will become 1 this one will become zero so flip means inversing or doing a value vice versa to what it was previously i have to return the maximum number of rows that have all values equal which means that again obviously if it's a binary matrix all values equal either the equal values can be the entire row is full of ones or the entire row is full of zeros that is the only two possibility so i have to tell what is the maximum number of rows which can become equal now if i go to a if i go with a very basic brute force approach then i will have 2 to the power n when let's say n is number of columns so 2 to the power c number of column combinations to uh, choose to build okay and say okay these all i will do a flip so if i go and say the constraint is pretty large so this thing would not work now if this thing would not work what else i have shown you existing example diagrams i will ask you to stop and look at this carefully and figure out a pattern in this because in these kind of problems where obviously you don't know that which column to flip and also you cannot try even flipping all the columns or any subset of columns you end up in a situation where you have to figure out a pattern in these problems now if i look at the pattern i will try manually by my human brain that okay if i have this given matrix what if i would have flipped only the first column again when i say first i mean by number uh, index is 0 it would have become 1 0 in the very beginning without even flipping anything i know i have one row as all ones so answer by default i already have one let's try to increase it and try to make both of the columns as having equal or i should say all the elements in that both the rows are equal so when i say both the rows which means either it become 0 0 or a 1 1 and it become a 0 0 or a 1 1 anything whatsoever just let's try to achieve it now when i'm trying to achieve this stuff if i try to achieve the first row if i try to achieve the first row as equal so i will try to flip any of the values so i if it is 0 i will flip it so if this become zero it will become a zero also but i was saying i will not flip this i will flip only this so it will remain one and if i would have gone vice versa if i choose to flip this it will become zero it will become uh, one zero and then it it will remain as is so i realize that there is no possibility of having both of them as equal rows so my answer is only one okay let's look at the next example in this i realized okay in the very beginning answer is not like both the rows are not equal so what i can do again when i say both the rows are not equal i mean having equal values in that specific row it is entirely possible that the first row is having all ones and the next row having all zeros still they are considered because this is this row is having all equal elements this row is having all equal elements cool so in this example i realized if i would have flipped any one of these rows it would become zero it would become one oh nice this became equal this became equal answer is two oh let's try again every time in these problems try to make a bigger example and this is already given to you in this scenario let's try to see what can be the maximum number of rows which can be equal by default i can easily see with my human eyes first row is already equal so answer i can say by default is one then i say okay which row i should flip or which sorry which column i should flip um if i look at it very carefully and if i 
try to flip this specific column this will become a zero this will become a one this will become a one this row became same this row became same did you find or did you figure out something by looking at how we were manually trying to build up a pattern here now the answer for this is two as you can see answer is two so we can easily realize one very standard and basic fact here that I am always trying to see these things. Do you find a relation between these? Acha, question is, are they same or not? Are these two same or not? Will they be counted as the same or not? Okay, if you don't answer this, tell me one thing. Are these two rows same or not? If I apply some operation, now I'm I, I'm not sure what operation, but if I apply, apply some operation on these two rows, can they become equal? Obviously yes. And why? Because obviously I will just flip this column. I'll flip this column, and obviously this entire row will become one. This entire row will become one. And technically, in the very beginning itself, these both the rows were same. Thus, if I do a flip, and if I try to adjust this specific row ultimately this will automatically be adjusted because they are already same right now my question was as i was mentioning or asking you guys here are these two rows same you will say i obviously not it is 0, 0, 001 other is 110 no i will say they are same because for us the same is nothing but having equal values now when i say equal it is nothing but complementary also works so if I have one row as 0, 0, other row can be a 0, 0 or entirely complementary, which is 1, 1. So here 0, 0, 1, other row is entirely complementary, which is 1, 1, 0. Thus, both the rows are equal because if I flip this to adjust this specific element according to other, this also will be adjusted according to others. And considering it was entirely a complement, this will also be satisfied. So if I bring you back to the next example, you will see these two rows were equal, but this row is also equal to them. But this last one is something out of nowhere, something different. So out of all the R number of rows, I want to find the maximum number of rows which are actually equal. I will apply some operation in them on them such that I will make them as row wise equal again that doesn't matter that what operation I'm applying it's just that I know one thing for sure ultimately I will be able to achieve all of these as equal that's it and thus and thus these three rows will be able to be the answer and again this this is ultimately one candidate if there would have been other rows which would have been of the pattern of this specific row maybe i would have 1001 0, 1001 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 then i would have said okay i have four of this pattern i have four rows of this pattern three rows of this pattern obviously i want maximum number of rows to become equal so this is going to be my answer four so now you know how you're gonna get the answer. Now the question is how will you code this? Or the prime question is how will you make these as equal? I'll say try and go and try by yourself and see how will you write it. Now the one very basic stuff which can come to your mind is Aryan, I will concatenate this as a string. I will say 0101. I will concatenate it as 0101. And then there will be one fact, obviously I will take a hash map to get their corresponding count because obviously I'm maintaining a count here. So I will take the count. The only thing is I also have to take the complement and also take that in consideration to maintain its count. That is the main challenge. How will you do that stuff? So we should realize what is the pattern between this, which is 0101 and the pattern between 1010. What is the pattern between them? 
obviously the pattern is their complement but the pattern is not like again it is the complement that is true but how will i represent both of them as one same string that's a question so if i if i give you this string and this string i ask you convert it to one common string to which you can maintain a specific count because you want this count 3 and 4 to this common string which is for both of them so again there are multiple ways to solve it but and i, I highly recommend go and try the your the, the like the way to solve it uh the way which i could think of was okay uh take this take this uh simply always make sure that you are in the corresponding you know um order which is okay if it's a zero then obviously uh try to have it try to have all of them uh you know flip it and begin them with a corresponding ascending order if i should say or uh, you know lexicographically stuff with that you will be able to achieve it now other way could have been that okay i don't want that and it can't be complicated so try to infer some hash out of it and how will you infer a hash considering this as a source of truth convert this also to this how will i do it i will simply say that what is this ultimately mean this ultimately means is 0 1 0 1 which means that okay uh, here i should have a 1 here i should have a 0 here i should have a 1 and here i should also have nothing but a uh, 1 or i should say a uh, 0 or let's say 1 whatsoever uh, so let's say if is 1 0 i should i just mention let's say 1 1 1 i should mention 0 1 0 i should mention 1 so do you see that uh, how we are trying to achieve this again there are multiple ways as i still again mentioned but uh, what or how we can achieve is this is i am let's take this as a reference and again uh, you will see that there are multiple ways people have done multiple ways on the code itself but uh, one such way is that you can take this as a reference and try to compare it with other strings thus if you have 0 1 0 1 you take 0 as a reference can compare it with itself 0 0 same have a true 0 1 have a false 0 0 have a true 0 1 have a false if i do the same thing with 1 0 1 0 1 compared with itself it's a true 1 compared with other it's a false compared with itself true compared with itself false because I want it to only maintain the parity thus the ultimate string which is generated by taking both of them is actually same and thus I can maintain the count of this and after I maintain again this is this this is the inferred string after I maintain its corresponding count I will see which one has a maximum count or which inferred string has a maximum count and that count is going to be my maximum rows which can become equal let's see the code it's exactly very simple I'll take a hash map same the corresponding pattern frequency i'll iterate on my row again uh, in java we have string builder but in c plus we can have a simple string then i went to all the columns for that specific row because now i am wanting to build a specific string how will i build it by comparing my column zero with all the other columns if they are same put it as true if they are different put it as false do the same thing if the column zero uh, and the column uh, that's why the column is if they are same put it as true else put it as false and simply keep on appending in my specific string and ultimately with that fact uh, after this portion is done I will make sure I update my hash map when I say hash map for this specific inferred string just increase the count by one that's it so in my hash map again this is entirely saying that in the pattern frequency hash map take the specific pattern as the string and increase the count by one that's it this this line is doing the exact same stuff what i wrote here and ultimately when this is done you have all the pattern for all the rows and the corresponding frequency also for them grab out the specific maximum frequency so i went on to my hash map it written on all the values values of the frequency streamed which means it written on them and then took the maximum frequency or again just putting a default value which is zero and simply returning that as you saw that i did on all the rows and columns o of m into n so complexity time complexity and space will be nothing but o of m to n because of this uh you know 
like string builder which i'm using like making a pattern again and again so this can be o of columns size uh, at max and this pattern frequency if i have n distinct patterns let's say r distinct patterns i have and each pattern has a length of c having a frequency of one so this is the maximum space complexity which this could infer right and thus this is a specific space again uh, there are multiple ways to resolve this so i'll let you know uh, sorry i'll uh, ask you to comment down below and what do you think what can be different such patterns to uh, make a common string so as to compare and put out the frequency i hope you guys got it if yes then do smash that like baby do follow us on twitter we are posting awesome content there and yeah bye bye take care see you